In this presentation, we're going to look at how to import comma separated value files, CSV files for short. Now, the data set in particular I'm going to look at is data1.csv. Now, importantly, I have that saved in my current working directory, C research. So the first thing I'm going to do is just double check that the that is the working directory that R is working with right now, and indeed it is. So the file, the command I'm going to use is read.csv. That will read in the CSV file. Now I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to call this data set new data once I read it in. And I'm going to use the command read.csv. I'm going to specify the name of the data set .csv or the data1.csv. Also, what I'm going to do is specify that I have column headers, which is the variable name for each of the variables in the file. I'm going to show you what that is in a minute. So header equals true means that the top um, row is actually the variable names and are not actually values. So I'm just going to enter that now. And there we go. That right, should be read right in. Now, new data. There we go. I'm just going to scroll back to the top of the file. Yeah, that that's exactly what I should be getting. Group X, W, X, Y, and Z are my variable names. Th th those are the headers. Those are the variable names. So we have group A and B, and we have these numeric um, variables W, X, Y, and Z. There's a nice little trick that we can use. Um, I'm just going to clear the screen. There's a nice little trick we can use just to sort of get a look at the top of a data set rather than scrolling through pages and pages of data. Head. It's a command that will present the first six entries of a data set. So these are the first six rows only and with all the variable names. So this is able to, we are able to get a sort of sense of what this data set looks like and make sure it's been uploaded correctly. So now we're able to work with our new data, our data uh, 1.csv values, and we can uh, compute statistics for these values now.